Brain Awareness Week is um, events happening across 23 European countries. Um, we're actually trying to raise awareness for brain research and we also want to celebrate the brain. We're all quite passionate here um, about the research that we're doing and we love kind of sharing it with other people. Two of our colleagues, Alex and Albert, held some Brain Awareness Week events um, and they were really, really well um, attended, really great fun, so we really wanted to kind of keep that tradition up. We've also got this exhibition, we've got amazing brains. This evening we're having a speed science event. It's a bit like speed dating, but it's better. So basically we have four experts, our heroes of neurons, who have a space each. The professor, the lecturer only has three minutes to answer a question. And what it happens is basically at the end you want to know more. So it's basically like trying for the very first time a very tasty food. And then once you try, you want to basically try more. have less time to get your point across which makes sure which ensures that you stick to the main points of the research and you don't just go off on a tangent which we tend to do as lecturers I just wanted to have an occasion to to have a chat with these experts and I was very interested about uh, these amazing topics and so that made me come here today this was a fantastic event really people were eager the questions were all fascinating um, for me. They were all spot on. I've asked several questions of all of the, um, the people that have presented today. And what I think has been really good is that these are obviously experts in their field. And I've asked pretty basic questions because I'm not an expert in any of it. And they've been able to explain it in a way that I could understand. And also to pique my interest to find out a bit more about it. So sometimes I'm not Sort of brave enough to ask the questions that I would like to ask when there's so many people in front. But in this kind of more private environment, I felt sort of brave enough to ask the questions that I wanted to ask, so it was fun. What I ask here is sometimes more personal stuff about themselves, just to know how can I improve not only as a researcher but as a human to actually, to actually carry on research. So this is a big difference for me. Rather than just having one person talking on one particular topic, um, we've got experts in neuroprosthetics um, and eyewitness testimony and face recognition, so we've got a good, um, good range. I got a lot of interesting questions that I didn't think about before and I never got in conferences before. So I think it's really um, interesting. Got me thinking about new research. That's always a good sign. I've been absolutely stunned and uh, shocked by sort of the interest. Uh, and, 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 and as I said, the, the, the insight uh, that's been revealed by a lot of the questions, they force you to, to challenge these assumptions. I actually kind of, you, you sort of revisit. We know, well, well why do I think that? Why, why do we assume that? And um, it's actually, I think it's, yeah, it's another sort of great sort of benefit of, of events like this one. It's certainly a, a sort of reciprocal uh, two-way process. Quite a few people actually from completely outside of the university came to the event. Unless you're in a university, you're not really exposed to this kind of um, event, this kind of research. So having people from just the general public come was really, really positive and really good. We are amazed and we are really happy that, that this project keeps going and, and one more year we have it here at, at City University and for us it was yeah. a pleasure to, to see how our colleagues were organizing again. Yeah, it's, it's very nice to see how basically the creature evolves. Because it's such a relaxed atmosphere, it's just looking into research in a fun kind of way, definitely, it's a great idea.